The experts at SEO just launched a new product. I'm talking about SEMrush. They just launched Content Shake and it's dedicated to AI content. That's going to give us ideas, write content for us, give us improvements and score so it can actually rank. So these guys know what they're talking about. So I'm going to show you their AI system right now. Okay, let's check out Content Shake AI. Like I said, it's going to generate content for you. And the good part about this is that SEMrush is an SEO expert, okay? So let me jump into my SEMrush account. Here it is. And to check out Content Shake, scroll down here on the left menu, and you're going to see Content Marketing. So let's click on this, and then we're going to see Content Shake AI. So right now it's new as of this video. So if you're using SEMrush and you're not using this tool, go ahead and check it out. So let's go ahead and select it. And now it's going to open up Content Shake. Now, the first thing that you're going to be greeted with is ideas. So the ideas are based on the content that you described in the beginning. So topics that you want to have content about. Now, if you haven't done that, go into my settings and in my settings, add the description of topics that you would like to get ideas on. So in this case, this is the first one I added. And then I added this one. I do recommend that you add your topics in the beginning because they take a couple of days to start giving you ideas. So add them from the beginning. Okay. Now let's go jump into my ideas. And if you're working on content that you previously previously worked on, go into my articles. Okay. Now let me go into ideas and we're going to get some ideas. Well, right here, content automation, content production, writing expertise. But in this case, I am going to give it my own idea. So right now I am really interested in coffee stuff. So I'm going to give it an idea based on something about coffee. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right. So I just gave it this idea, Arabica versus Robusta beans in terms of health benefits. That's just something I just came up with. And these are two type of coffee beans. So let, oh, let me tell it it's beans. Coffee beans. Okay. So let's start writing and it's going to generate content for me. Now it's going to start right away composing the first piece of content here on the left. And on the right, we're going to get some ideas for different type of titles aside from the one I provided. So let's give it a few seconds. Okay, here we go. It started writing about the coffee beans. And here we go. First of all, it's letting us know about the Arabica beans, and then it's going to talk about Robusta. So yeah, I do know about this. It's higher caffeine content. And if you didn't know about that, that is interesting. So let's wait for this one to finish. Oh, finished already. Okay, so here we go. It just wrote based on the title that I provided. Now I can keep that title or I can use one of the ones that's suggested by AI. The first one is the one I use. The second one is a different one. Arabica versus Robusta. Understanding the differences, exploring the distinct characteristics of Arabica and Robusta coffee beans. And I can use one of these or I can keep the one I like, the one I use. So I like the one I use. So I'm going to keep that and I'm going to check out what competitors are actually talking about. So like I said, these guys are the SEO experts and they're also going to provide you some insights on the competitors. Okay. So competitors are using something like this, and this is what is actually ranking right now. So I can choose to keep the content that I'm writing about the health benefits, or I can say, you know what, that's not what people are looking for and choose one of these. Okay. I'm going to keep the one that I'm using. I'm going to go next. And then we have the first phrase. Coffee is one of the most popular, etc. So it's this one right here. I can go ahead and rank it. So tell it that I do like the suggestion or not. So I can give it some future references. And then I can go ahead and rephrase this. So I like what it's talking about, but I just want to find another way to say it. So I can go ahead and rephrase it or I can just go ahead and paste it. This one. I'm not going to do it because that's what I have. But what about the next one? Maybe this one is better. So I'm not going to read it right, right now, but I'm going to paste this. So I'm going to keep that and I'm going to remove what I had. OK, so I think that's better just per se. And I'm going to go next. Next comes the actual structure of the content. So here we go, Arabica coffee beans, which is right here, the H2. And then we have the H3 for these. Again, I can go ahead and rephrase these, paste it and work on it if I like. Here we go. So here's the content for this. I can go ahead and rewrite it and paste it. And in this case, I'm going to keep it. I like what I got. I'll go next. We have some images that I, we, we can insert right here. So I'm going to insert an image in between here and I'm going to add, I'm going to say, uh, this one. Okay. So I'm going to click the plus button and there it is. Let's go next. Facts and data. So facts and data are facts that we can actually think about that could be useful for us for the content that we want to add in here, or we can actually add the fact. So I'm going to add this fact in the end. So here in the end, and let's just say that this is interesting that people might want to know about, and I'm going to click plus. And it's going to add the fact 
with the link. So it's giving credits to where you got the content from. Okay, let's go next. And this is going to give us a score based on the parameters that we are using. Now, these parameters are based on what I used before. So for example, suggested right now it's 500. But what if it was 2000? Before I change it, let me show you 6.4 score. Let's change the word count. Let's just say, you know what? The content has to be at least 2000 characters. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to select 2000 and it reduced my score. Now it's telling me that it's me mediocre. Okay, which is makes me sad, but OK, difficult to read. I want to make it plain language. So let's see the score 4.8. Now I got a 4.0. So that means that it's not where we want it to be. So we need to modify the content, but we'll keep it as it is. Tone of voice. Again, we can change these. Now, changing, changing these are going to give us different scores. And the idea is that when we once we get these scores, we're going to work on the content to actually improve it and raise those scores. OK, and then we have readability. Here we go in the, the information for this. Like, why are we getting this score? And we're going to get it here. Word count, title issues, content issues. All paragraphs are pro properly sized, so that's OK. Your content text is written in simple and easy understand language, so that's good. What about the tone of voice? Here we go. 84% most formal sentences. So if you want to work on that, the SEO two target keywords. So I need to select at least two target keywords for this and we're going to keep it as it is right now. Okay. Now inside of the content, we actually have more AI. So let's just say that I'm going to click right here and I need more content. So I need to raise the word count. I'm going to compose with AI. And here we go. It continues writing here. So it's going to raise my word count. So I can accept it, try again or discard. I am going to accept it. And aside from that, we can also improve certain aspects of the content. So, for example, if I select this part of the phrase, here we go. We're going to get some tools right here. So we can change this into an H1, H2, A3, some bold, italic, some underlines, etc. We can also rephrase this using the AI. So just that particular part of the phrase. I can simplify it. I can expand it to raise my word count. I can summarize this. I can make this into a list and all of these tools are available for me to work with. So these are all based on AI and it's going to help me obviously raise the score over here. OK, now, once you like the content that you have generated and you're happy with what you got, you can go ahead and publish it and you can actually publish this directly into WordPress if you have the WordPress plugin installed. So it's really useful to use Content Shake AI for our content generation. Now, like I said, the best part about this is that we are using it based on the parameters of an SEO expert company. That's SEMrush. So this is going to give us a really good score that's going to help us rank this content on search engines. So if you want to check it out, I do recommend that you go check it out. Now, if you're using SEMrush and you haven't checked this out, jump into the Content Shake AI part of SEMrush. And if you haven't done so, I do recommend that you check it out. Well, that's a wrap for Content Shake AI.